Welcome back to my channel guys, it's me Irvin and I have a great, great manga. I, I want to say how, how great it is from the beginning because uh, for me it's great. Now before anything, uh, if if you guys have not checked out my other videos, go check them out. But I, I have done mangas and obviously I, um, if you guys have seen the trajectory, I like dark mangas and obviously I do like other stuff. I love romance, I love history. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out, out there that I like, but this one itself is something that I was looking for. Um, I will put a warning, it is a little bloody and gruesome and um, could make people say, I don't want this for me. So throwing that out there. Now before anything, go check out my other videos. Like I said, also subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach to 5,000. Uh, and give some love to the video uh, by commenting, liking, and sharing. And uh, check out, you know, the uh, different stuff in the description below. Also, uh, there's a cheap uh, website where you guys can buy a manga and anime at a very reasonable price. And I get a little bit of the uh, commission if you guys use my link. So that, that helps the channel grow. Uh, I, I am going to be bringing more uh, volumes for you guys. And this is another one. So um, this is a long name and I'm probably going to butcher it. So make sure you read the actual name. But I believe it's called So You Think You Can Run uh, um, From Me After Reincarnating Nissan. Uh, so that's, uh, that's I think, the title that I, I first came out. But then there's a different title on the actual uh, series and um, then the English title was you know two different things so anyways that's the one I'm going with I might go with a different one when I write the title here in the description so just make sure you guys uh, check that one out um, anyways uh, it is an easy Kai uh, manga and I want to specify I don't typically like a lot of easy Kais um, I I do go into a hunt especially on easy Kais for the ones that are good and um there's some that i've enjoyed like the karate one and um i've even enjoyed some of the meta ones that you know other people enjoy but th there's obviously those that are very repetitive that i read one volume and i never see it again but this one definitely wants me going back for it um now the first volume has four chapters and um depending how you you find it you might find different parts of the chapters out because that's how the guy who decided to translate it did it online. Um, now, I want to specify that this series, again, is dark and it doesn't seem like it from the beginning, but it is. Um, you'll see at the second part of the, of the first chapter. So it starts off with the guy reincarnating. He's happy that he died. And the goddess is like, well, I'm going to give you a better life. I'm going to give you powers, and et cetera, et cetera. And he's like, okay, I'm going to reincarnate. And something slips, I think, the goddess's um, mind and says something about you might see some people uh, from your other world. And he's like, no, I don't want that. I don't want people to be reincarnated from my world in this world. So that is unstoppable. He's already being reincarnated. And he wakes up as a baby. Now, there's a little bit of uh, fan service here. You know, the whole, oh, I'm a baby. You know, I'm being fed by my mom and I'm being changed by the maid. So all that was a little like, oh, okay, whatever. But once you pass all that, you get this scene of him learning that he has powers and then learning what the powers are and in all of this you see the mom the dad the maid the happy family right um eventually he found himself walking in the forest and he hears the humming of the maid and realizes this is a song that i remember this is my sister song she used to sing it like why is it in this world and only exists in japan so he puts the dots together and realizes that the girl that's carrying him is in fact his sister reincarnated and she confesses yeah it's been like 15 years of me waiting for you to be reincarnated now uh, after this we get uh in chapter two we get essentially why he hates her and the why is horrible so he, they lose his parents he's like 18 she's younger maybe 16 15 and she basically abducts him and she has a obsession for his brother unhealthy obsession um ties him up makes him do stuff that he doesn't want to do 
Um, then whenever there is any girl or any friend in general uh, that looks at him the way that she doesn't want anyone to look at him, she brings him to the house and she makes him observe her torture this person to death. And she cuts them up, you know, at the end and gets rid of the bodies. And she did this for, I think he says, like, five or three years. Like, it was multiple years of her basically kidnapping him, not letting him have a life. And when she did, he if he got any close to anyone, she would get rid of that person. And it was just horrible. Um, now, this is the scenes that I'm warning you guys on. Just... Be warned, right? Uh, then they go into this like magical battle. Obviously, she has powers. She shows him how to use his powers, but she didn't show him that she had a lot more than what she presented. And they're fighting, and chapter three essentially is the big fight and him killing her. Like, he gets rid of her. Now, we don't really see the complete end of her. We just see, like, she's all mangled. She has, like, one leg, one foot missing. I mean, the battle was gruesome. You guys should read that part. It's pretty good. The fourth chapter, there's a time jump. He's already older. I think he's around 13, 14 years old. Um, there is a, two girls that um, come into the scene. So I'm like, is this the sister reincarnated? I don't know. There's a younger girl than him, not too much younger, but she's the daughter of a leader, and she's kind of becoming his friend. And then there is an elf girl who they found in the forest randomly one day and decided that she wanted to stay. Now, this elf girl, uh, eventually they learn that she has a very good power, which is she can use all powers that she copies. Um, and she also offered to be... Uh, his master for gratitude of saving her life. So that's the end of those chapters and that volume. Um, it, the fourth chapter really, because of the first three chapters, had me like this, like who is this elf? Who is this new girl? Like, are they going to be people that he knew or stuff like that? Uh, I, I want to say yes. I want to say they're going to be maybe friends that he knew in the other world or, you know, people that maybe that got tortured to death and and or will either have a grudge or forgive him for what he did for or not do by stopping his sister if you know from killing them so we'll see this is a great first volume i'm excited to see what happens in the second one probably gonna go read it today uh to be honest <laughs> or, or or maybe tomorrow when i have time to read actually but anyways uh go check it out go check it out go find it online like i said this is the name i chose for not sure if it's the same one I just said earlier, but hopefully it is. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Uh, go check out the other videos in the description below. And like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.